Hello and welcome everyone to Friday Beer Reviews. My name is Kenny. Today we are taking a look at a local craft brew. This is Surly Before I Die. Really cool looking artwork on this one. Um, and the, the, the one of the main reasons this one attracted me, first of all, 12 pack, medium, med mildly inexpensive. Um, football is back on, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, we got football on tonight. This is actually being recorded on a Thursday night. The Vikings Eagles play tonight. And if you notice the theme of this can, there's a lot of purple, white, and gold on here. So I have no idea if that has any connection or anything to do with the actual Minnesota Vikings or not, if it's a purely coincidental. But we have a very bright, nice bright lager. In this lager, we have Sterling Hops. We got Carahel Malts. Acylated CMC. I have no idea what those malts are. I'm sorry, you guys. If you're interested in it, Surly's website, you know. Uh, four and a half percent alcohol by volume. So let's get into this feller. Hmm. Yep. That is definitely a lager. This one is actually very crisp, very clean very smooth drinking, light, very light mouthfeel, uh, but it is a very refreshing beverage. Um, I did buy it in, in, with the anticipation of watching the Vikings game and uh, enjoying some beverages to watch them. Uh, it says right on the side here, before I die, crisp, crushable, victorious. So far, at the time of recording, the Vikings have yet to be victorious. So we'll see if tonight, Thursday, against the Eagles, if that changes. Um, I know these beer reviews are a little topical now. Ooh, um, very interesting. And if you notice too, I'm wearing this kind of goofy shirt. It's actually not goofy. I really like this shirt. I got this from 511 Tactical. They got some beer related uh, beverage type shirts. We got Battle Ration, Nectar of the Gods, and I got a little 511 uh, tactical beer guy right on my hat here too. <laughs> kind of cool. I love these like, little beer patches and beer themed shirts that they have. It's really fun. Uh, and I have to wear this backwards because the artwork is on the back of this shirt. So I'm wearing it backwards. If in case you were wondering why it looks so uncomfortably fitting around me. Um, but this beer has a nice like it's not like overly sweet or anything. It's a good balance of like uh, hoppiness and maltiness and just just refreshing goodness. It's lightly sweetened, nicely carbonated. It's just overall a delicious, it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice takeaway or a change of pace too from Surly when they have pumped out so many hoppy in your face IPAs like Furious and uh, the, the lot of them. They've, they, they do a lot of hoppiness <laughs> and uh, you know, more, IPA-esque type beers. Um, yeah, it's a fun brewery too, if you haven't been. It's uh, quite the uh, quite the uh, crowd that visits there. Uh, very different. Obviously being located in Minneapolis, it's gonna attract a bunch of different crowd, but you got like young to old drinkers, all of them, just a whole umbrella of, under the umbrella of diff different types of people. It's crazy, kind of fun. Kind of a fun brewery. Would love to go. I should probably go there and like when the, the weather's nice, summer like patio and stuff like that, the roof and stuff. It'd be kind of fun to try it out. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, quite a drinkable, quite a quaffable lager, if you will. It's if you want to change your pace from you know like Coors Lights and other you know light beers of that nature and stuff like that. This one might be one to go look at in your liquor store and check it out try it out if it's available to you surly is crazy with how far and vast they distribute their uh their beer so it might be available to a lot of people nationwide even just different various parts of the nation so i'm kind of curious to see what you guys think about it you should leave a comment down below if you've had this one Woo other than that you guys i think that's going to wrap this one up too this one is a very drinkable beer. I, I enjoy it a lot. I would not hesitate to buy this again and put it in my fridge and uh, have more people over to uh, enjoy it with me. Mm. I tell you. Yeah.
That's actually good stuff. Although it says that on the website here, it says it's seasonal, so that sucks. <laughs> so maybe it's harder to get for a lot of people. I'm sorry if I got your hopes up, y'all. Uh, other than that, you guys, take it easy, be well, and uh, like, comment, consider subscribing if you're new here, and share this with your beer-loving friends if you will. Uh, I'd appreciate that. Otherwise, take it easy, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, folks. Mm -hmm.